Hey guys, just letting you guys know before the video starts, if you want to commission me to make some audios for you, um, you can follow my Twitter and send me a DM there, or um, DM me on my Discord and request it there. I accept PayPal and Venmo, and every minute is 50 cents. So a 10 minute video would be $5. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Uh, uh, hello. Huh? Hey, what's going on? What am I playing? Oh, I'm just playing Hulu. You know, the great combat shooter or things called the Flad and stuff like that, you know, and the Kevadunt. Yeah, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. It's an interesting game. I, I could see why a lot of people liked it. A little ancient, but fun nonetheless. Hmm? Have I seen your friend? Uh, which friend? Oh, the one with the dirty blonde hair. Yeah, I ate him. Uh, you want me to rephrase that? Uh, okay. Um, I shoved him in my mouth and chewed? Does that help? Uh... You look shocked. Are you okay? Can you sit down? Why are you screaming? Hey, stop that. That's annoying. Why did I eat him? He was going through my stuff. He went in my room, and he started digging through my laundry. Like, what the hell? Digging through my laundry, throwing my games all over the floor. And you know what he also did? He was smelling all my stuff like a weirdo. <sighs> Honestly, unbelievable. So when I found him, I gave him two options. I told him he can get the hell out of my room, or I can eat him. And he dove at me with the knife. So I grabbed his knife, shoved it in his leg, and then proceeded to consume him. But after I took the knife out, of course. Knives are not super great on the digestive system. Not that it would hurt me anyway, because I'm kind of impervious to damage, but uh, I do not want to have the knife go out the other end. Ugh. Why are you still mad at me? It was self-defense. Plus, your kind is like top premium quality meat. <sighs> Am I worried about the cops? Not really. I'm allowed to kill one person a week for eating. Yeah, really. You don't understand how valuable Wendigos are to society, do you? We do all the hard labor jobs. Well, let me tell you why. Wendigos are completely impervious to damage. We can't be hurt by physical means. Example, you could shoot me with a gun and it would do nothing. You could hit me with a tank and it would do nothing. I could literally jump off the skyscraper off the tallest building in the world and it would do nothing. The only way to hurt me and possibly kill me is by burning me. That is it. That is the only thing you can do to kill a Wendigo. So, what do you do when you have a bunch of people who can't be killed? You put them to work. And very dangerous jobs at that. Like electrical engineering, or getting down inside people's pipes. Some of them even jump into the water and actually fix a lining under the ocean. Yeah, we can't drown either. So... Yeah, that's, I guess that's why, I guess. You know, we're super important to society. And when you have someone that's that important and that well integrated into your society, you're going to want to feed them. So every ghoul, or wendigo in this case, is granted the ability to eat one person a week. And, well, your friend happened to catch me on a day I needed to eat. So they went down into my belly. What did I do with the remains? Well, obviously I can eat them whole, but like, I don't know, I have them stored in my mini fridge there. Oh, you really don't want to open my mini fridge. It is full of human parts. I, I really wouldn't, uh, I told you not to open it. I told you, I told you exactly not to open it. And what did you do? You opened it. Yep, uh, that's right. Curl away in disgust and about ready to throw up. Look, I don't judge your eating habits. 
Well, it's not different. You eat animals. I just happen to eat humans. It's just the only... Well, yeah, I'm aware you were a human, but I'm not going to eat you. Well, you're actually a decent human being, one of my best friends. You gave me a place to stay. Do I need to keep listening off reasons? Okay, fine. You're adorable. You're cute. Um, very friendly, very nice, very understanding. So, yeah. Although I'm kind of about to weigh in on that last point because you're not being very understanding right now. Well, you knew I ate people. What's the problem? That it was your friend. Look, look, look. If your friend didn't want to get eaten, he would have been not going through my stuff and smelling my underwear. That is weird. That is very, very weird and disturbing and I didn't like it. And I wasn't even going to eat them at first. I was going to let them go. But then he charged at me with a knife, which is really stupid because he just broke the knife on me. Like, dude, what did you think was going to happen? He tried to stab me with a knife and it did nothing. And he looked at me like poker faced, like, what? And I'm like, dude, come on. Now I got to eat you. So I just picked them up and I munched on them. And then I munched on them a little more. And then I munched on their bones. And then I cut them up and I put them in my fridge. It's that easy. Maybe I'll make a human meat sculpture someday. What? Oh, okay, okay, I won't do that. Okay, sorry, I won't do that. It's just an idea. I won't do that. I'm sorry. Did not mean to offend you. Um, hmm. But, but anyway, look, I'm not going to harm you. Uh, you'd have to do something pretty bad for me to harm you. And I assure you, I don't think you're even capable of even half of that. So don't worry your little head about it, will you? Hmm? <sighs> That's a strange question, but all right. How did I become a Wendigo? Well, it's a very long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Okay. Well, I come from the... Okay, so you know down south, next to that kind of reservation area? Yeah, yeah, down there. So... I, I am not, you know me, I'm not actually of Indian descent, but when I went down there, I got trapped on the mountain. Yeah, I got trapped on the mountain. I couldn't get back down because the snow was too thick. So, and, you know, I happened to be stuck with another person who was on death's door already about to freeze to death, and I was starving, so I ate them. It wasn't the most delicious food ever. In fact, it was quite repulsive at the time because I had human taste buds. But I ate it because, well, I was starving to death. I was on death's door because I wasn't eating. So I ate them, and then, well, when I died, I didn't go anywhere. I just got back up, which I thought was weird. I thought I'd froze to death, but then I realized I felt nothing. I walked through the snow and then realized, oh, I don't feel cold. I went and... I picked up some sharp pieces of glass, and it didn't cut my fingers. And I was really weirded out by that. Eventually I was rescued, but they soon discovered I was a Wendigo, and took me into the government program explaining what my life was going to be like. Also gave me a ton of pamphlets. And they were like, now that you're a Wendigo, you have to follow these special laws, and you need to have a human by your side at all times. That's you. You're my special human. Yeah, you're my special human. I can't go anywhere without you. Plus, I kind of like you anyway. I'm kind of endeared to you. <laughs> no offense. I would kiss you, but um, my breath smells like rotting meat. <laughs> Probably because it is rotting meat. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just... <laughs> I'll tease you all day, but uh, yeah, I don't think that'd be a great idea. Plus, I'm dead, so that'd kind of be necrophilia, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, let's just bump over that subject. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's kind of the story. Well, it is long. It was long and painful for me. I froze to death. And also nearly starved to death. <sighs> Stupid mountain. But anyway, I'm going to go now, and I think my life's far better than it was before. I mean, before I was working a menial job in an office with this awful naga that kept making very insulting things about me. He was so rude. He'd say things like, oh, you'd be such a delicious snack. You're lucky you're one of my 
you are lucky you're one of my employees or I'd eat you right up. And I'm like, Ugh, leave me alone. <sighs> oh yeah, Nagazalamias eat humans sometimes, but they have to be a lot more strict about it because they don't need to eat humans. So they mostly just eat berries and animals. Wendigos, though, the only thing we can eat is humans. We can't eat anything else. It's strictly our diet is humans. Which, to be fair, you guys are pretty delicious. Yeah, like, what is it, what do you guys taste like? <laughs> Isn't that a morbid question? <laughs> but I guess I can't blame you. I thought the same thing when I was starving. Hmm. How to describe this? Well, it's like cherry mixed with, like... A really sweet, sugary taste. That's kind of what humans taste like. That's like a like like cherry with a sweet like a really sweet taste. Although it does change. Like if the human's a little unhealthy, it'll turn a bit more bitter, like an overripe banana. Yeah. Um, hmm. Are there any other flavors? I guess, but it doesn't change too much. I mean, they're just different variations of sweet. And the more unhealthy a human is, like if they smoke or something, becomes more bitter. Also, humans that smoke are absolutely disgusting to eat. Well, okay, imagine chewing through their body and then you discover their tarred lungs. It's disgusting. Okay, you don't know disgusting until you've bit into a Tabasco filled, like, not Tabasco, the tobacco filled lung and heart. Do you know how disgusting that is? Ugh. Ugh. I mean, I guess that's one way to detract a wooden go from eating you, to say you're a heavy smoker. Ugh. Huh? Oh. You need to go to the store today? Nah, no, sure, I can come with you. What? I'm not just gonna eat a random person. What do you take me for? I only eat people once a week. I think I filled my quota. <laughs> Oh, right, I should probably clean some of the blood off my face. I'll be back in a second. Hmm. There we go. All cleaned off. Hmm? Oh. Uh, I guess that's an interesting question. Um, sure. I guess we can. I'm not sure how this will go, but... We can try? Uh, look. Um, before we uh, <laughs> initiate this, are you 100% positive this is what you want to do? I know there's much better mates for you. Uh, like a million different better mates than one that eats your kind? Like, I don't know, a human? Or uh, Naga, Alamia, Driders, uh, anything that looks remotely more human than I do. And something that, you know, won't eat your face. I mean, granted, I'm not going to eat you, but you still you get my point. Okay. Well, then buck her up, I guess. How was that? More? Oh, jeez, you're needy. How was that? I have enough of a taste yet what it's like to date a Wendigo. What? You still interested? Even after how disgusting my breath tastes? Really? You're a strange one. Not that I'm saying no. I just want you to know what you're getting into. Okay. If you really want to date a Wendigo, then... Let me be your experiment. <laughs> uh, we are so not going on dates, though. I don't think the waiter would appreciate if I ate them. <laughs> well, what's the point of going on dates? I can't eat the food. I mean, the only food there is the people serving the food. Uh, yeah, I think this will be fun, too. All right. 